please don't tip over, please don't tip over. No, it's gonna be fine. Right? <laughs> What's happening today? Hey guys, how's it going? Um, <laughs> we are getting the van today. The caravan. The caravan. It's going to be amazing. Yes. Going to um, level up this project. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited. Um, yes, very, very excited for it. Um, so we are still awaiting the delivery. They haven't picked up the van yet. Um, so we'll be prepping the grounds for it. Um, we've laid out the foundation for it last week yeah, with the gravel the already, best we could. which which doesn't look too bad. We'll we'll maybe um, yeah reshape the stone wall which we did on the side a little bit today. Um, I think the big challenge is going to be getting the caravan safely onto the land though, so it doesn't actually have like a what is it called like a bar, a, a tow bar. Um, it's been like rusted off, so there's nothing to really attach it to a car, and we don't have. Uh, tow ball yeah. i don't know what they're called tow ball anyway so we're crossing our fingers that the um the tow truck guy can drive onto the land it's quite wet though so it's pretty unlikely helpful, yeah. in which case we might have to do some very scrappy engineering <laughs> and try to try to get it down ourselves it's we gonna shall be an see. interesting challenge yeah um yeah. definitely will make for an entertaining video so stick yeah. around and uh, see, cross your fingers <laughs> for see how we manage it <laughs> so it's quarter past five the caravan is on its way but i'm guessing it's going to be another hour before it gets here um for some scrappy science so we're doing some scrappy science um so we're not really sure because the we've mentioned before the land is a bit wet, so I'm not really sure like how it's gonna um, how we're gonna go if, if the tow truck's even gonna be able to drive down. How willing he will be. And yeah, how willing he will be. So we're assuming worst case scenario he will not be willing, in which case we have to figure out how to get it down our driveway, which is a little bit steep. So we're afraid it's gonna bang into the. Oh look, we have a little visitor. Well, <laughs> uh, we're afraid it's gonna bang into the, oh, this dog is so cute, um, into the house. Nuno thinks it's going to roll right into the house. I think it's going to, the, the slope goes this way. So we're going to try with this tire and see what happens. I'm going to first to help in the argument, which is not my own. Um, I will actually give it some force in that direction and see if it stays true. And then... On the other test, we'll just drop it down the middle and see about what it does. All right, moment of truth. Test number one. Well, sh <laughs> mm, I see. I don't love to be right. <laughs> you do love it. You absolutely love it. All right, it's nighttime, obviously. Um, and Nuna's just gone to meet the, the tow truck with the caravan on it. And it actually just drove past here. Seeing the truck, it's massive. It's not going to make it down the hill, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure he's not going to want to try and drive down. So it's, And trying to get the caravan in here, he's going to block the entire road, which isn't really an option. So honestly, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I guess we'll find out. The truck is turning around, he's gonna, I think, try and see if he can get it in, but it's starting to rain, which is the worst possible timing. <laughs> oh my god, this is our new home, I'm so excited. Come on, come on. Please don't tip over, please don't tip over. Oh my god, oh my god, it's happening, it's happening. <laughs> What's happening here? What do we, what do we got? I'm gonna use the tree. 
That tree's going to break before the caravan's going to move, I'm pretty sure. The thing is just, like, this won't move the caravan. What will it do? Just hold it in place. Why? why? You know, we push it, tighten it up with that. This, this will move. No. Um, I know. Anyway, we've just, we've got the caravan delivered. We've turned it around so that it's more or less... It's at an angle in which we can get it up the slope, but we've tried pushing it and it is so heavy, super unwieldy. So, gonna try with the car. Hopefully, not tonight because it's very late and I'm very tired. Um, or get some friends to come and help us push it up. Um, but man, look, we have a caravan! <laughs> Absolute game changer! Okay, we're putting the top up in what style? Indiana Jones. What does that, that mean? Doesn't make a lot of sense. I know that would be a whip, I guess. What does it? What does that mean? Maybe it's Tom Raider. Stuff. Don't overthink it. Something like that. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna throw this over the top. Hopefully, if my aim is true, and then we'll just pull the car through it. <laughs> kind of. We just need to open go, Indy. Go. <laughs> we need to open up the top. <laughs> Good work. You got this. Ah, ah no! It was, it was, it was so close. That was the style, though. It was there. That was definitely the style. I'll just throw it. I'll okay. Just. just. Hey. Yeah. Okay, can you hold this, please? Yep. Or you might just put scratches all over the roof. What? Or you might just scratch the roof up. Okay, it's not going to work. Yeah, no. <laughs> right. Last idea, and this is a good one. Okay, what is it? It's not even an idea. It's just I'm just going to make it work. Okay. I believe in you. What do you got? Could you hold... Oh, are you going to just hook one onto the other, make an extra long one? I'm going to pass it to the front. Okay. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Yes. What's, what's wrong with the caravan? There's a little spot on this corner that needs some TLC. Uh, there's definitely some water coming in, so just want to cover this corner so that issue doesn't get worse until we can fix it. The floor over here doesn't look too fancy either. Yeah, I think a lot of this floor is going to have to come out, but do what we can. Alright, at least the top is on. Hello everyone! Hey guys, how's We're it back. going? Back in the line once more. Yeah, we've got our caravan here. It's in a very awkward position, but at least it's daylight, so that's definitely improvement over last time. Yeah. Um, little bits are falling off apparently, but <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna try today to put it in place somehow. The yeah, it's gonna require a lot of uh, scrappy engineering to get it in. Yeah, big big challenge ahead of us for sure. We do have someone which will stop by to try and. Help us, though, we're still trying to engineer how we're actually going to be able to bring it up the slope. We are considering maybe tying a rope, uh, tow rope to the car and trying to pull it, pulling it with the car, though. Um, the tow truck driver that left the van here for us, who was an absolute legend, um, did say that we would probably burn the, the clutch. Yeah, which we don't really want to do. We don't really and to be so. honest, the earth up there is like quite loose and wet. So I think, I mean, we've just got like a tiny little city car with like a two wheel drive city car. So I don't think it's going to go very well. We'll see. We yeah. might have to bug our neighbor to borrow her tractor. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But what's the plan so far? Yeah, for now, um, we are going to. <laughs> go for our first attempt which is to try the easter island um <laughs> the van into place so just move one side at a time while keeping it um anchored on the top with the strap and and every time we manage to move it a little bit for uh forward just tie the strap or tighten the strap rather and keep on moving hopefully We'll get some progress that way. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, it's going to be an experiment <laughs> like pretty much everything we do here, so we'll yeah. see how it goes. So we got some some straps and, again, have a little tow rope here. So what I'm going to do is we anchored this to an olive tree, to 
a little bit too thin. Not sure if it will take it, but we'll see. And um, so now I'll just um, strap this onto the frame, to the chassis of the van. And as we pull it forward again, we'll just tighten this uh, slowly as we go. And hopefully this will keep it anchored so that we are uh, able to easily move it forward without having to push all of the weight. So let's see. Uh, we might make it. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I mean, we can push it a bit closer. Like, just. Yeah. We'll get it. Just, just. All right, let's push it in. All right. Honestly. Uh, careful, careful. Uh, it's the belly of water here and here. Yeah, this is the first time we've been inside the caravan after, like, since we looked at it for the first time. We thought it was only this corner that was water damaged because there was some water damage in the floor here and above the window. But it looks like the entire roof is not waterproof. So. That's very worrying. The floor is like totally wet. Not cool. It is extremely concerning. Yeah, we need to get an awning on this ASAP. Yeah, I mean, we might need to go buy another tarp today. Yeah, probably. Oh my god, was that water coming out of the roof? Yeah, no, I think this might be the culprit. Probably. I mean, first it isn't closed, so... Oh, brilliant. definitely water coming in from it. Um, but this... Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah. Alright, gonna have to go get some... Plastic sheeting. <laughs> home sweet home. doing um the scrappiest engineering you ever did see yeah so the strap method is promising though in itself won't uh, bring us victory let's say <laughs> so we're going to be lifting each of the side putting rocks underneath um tacking it up tacking it down and with that hopefully we'll be able to get it up the hill yeah we've already been able to use a rock now we've got a an old tire and a rock also, yeah. and a jack and then another rock like wedged underneath so hopefully this will lift the tire up just enough that we can yeah try and get it over this very steep ridge where the where the gravel ends so fingers crossed <laughs>
step two is to cut a hole in this um, dense, dense foliage so we can get to the fence which is on the other side and the road that's on the other side. Put this ratchet strap uh, through the fence, attach one side to the caravan, attach the other side to the car, cross our fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> We actually did it. I can't believe we actually did it. <laughs> I was very doubtful of this plan. But Nuno, it seems, is a scrappy engineering mastermind, and I should never doubt him. Because look at this, it's actually pretty straight, too. We did it. We managed it. Don't know how we're going to get inside the door, but <laughs> we'll figure that part out later, I guess. Um, second. Second order of business for today is buying another top so we can actually cover this whole thing so it doesn't keep flooding and then figure out how to put an awning on this bad boy. Isn't that right? That is right. <laughs> yes. It is. How's it feel? It's good. Brand new home. I mean, wouldn't call it brand new, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a home. <laughs> This is our watery feeling. Our water belly. Our water belly that Nuno has suggested we set free. Not quite the deluge I expected, but <laughs> faster than <laughs> that. that. Should probably. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. That's what you want. I mean, it's not what you want, <laughs> but it's what we got. Oh my god, that's so much water. Okay, that's more what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> the top is on, the ceiling is pierced, <laughs> um, but I just realized we haven't actually given you a tour of the caravan. It's not really the tour I wanted to give you because I um, didn't expect it to be leaking, but, <laughs> but it is what it is. So over here we have our water feature. Uh, shower, hand built shower. <laughs> <laughs> what else have we got? Some cupboards. Uh, more so over here, a uh, built-in fridge as well as a built-in gas heater. Um, the fridge is also gas-powered, which is pretty cool. Hopefully, hopefully our plan is to get these hooked up to biogas. Um, 
Eventually. More on that very, very later. Yeah. <laughs> much, much later. Yeah. Um, so this is what will be our bed um, with some space uh, underneath as well as some space above. So, um, yeah, it's not looking too bad, I guess. Wait, he says as it falls apart. No, good, dry. Okay. What you want to see. Um, exactly what you want to see. Um, and, yeah, probably the... The electric installation on this. Oh, uh, it'll so all be like all pulled have out. to be redone. Yeah. Um, but all in all, it's a solid platform. It's something. With we've got to work with. a couple of windows. We've got this whole space that's free that we'll probably, I guess, put like a <laughs> another water feature in. Um, we'll pro probably put a, a little office there. And I guess like a little kitchen here. Something like that. I mean, it's a, it's a shell, but it's our shell. When it rains, it pours, I guess. Second indoor water feature. Inauguration begins. Oh, okay. Jewish. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure this water wasn't here when we bought it, <laughs> which means it's just accumulated over the last week of leaving it on the land. And I, we hoped that the tarp that we put over one corner would have been enough, but apparently not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Though we're quite quite confident with the tarp we have over it now though. Yeah, hopefully this yeah. doesn't have to happen again. But there will be a lot of remodeling which will be required, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know, I kinda like it. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. Another very successful uh, day. Yeah, um, this was super exciting. Look what we did! <laughs> um yeah a yeah. long exhausting day but a very fruitful one yes uh managed it in the end a big big shout out to shell talks or nuno and his yeah. daughter who stopped by to help um yeah uh, again we're blessed with amazing people who yeah. continue to help and support us throughout our journey um and yeah Thank you guys for helping us uh, and supporting us throughout our journey as well. Yeah, if as you, always. Yeah, if you like our content, if you like our videos, remember like and subscribe. It's a huge, huge help. Oh, and if you have any uh, <laughs> some suggestions about how we can do up this caravan, please leave that in the comments because we've never done this before. <laughs> and um, the, the aquatic roof is kind of throwing us a bit. So <laughs> help, please. <Yes. laughs> um, yeah, that's but it yeah. for now, I think. Thank you so much. See you next time for next more time. scrappy engineering and hopefully a drier <laughs> ceiling. All right. Bye. See you.